Hi everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today we're going to do a mermaid nail design. After doing an infill and putting one layer of foundation gel polish on my nails, I'll be taking a mint of spring by Jellish and putting down two coats on my ring finger. I'll be capping the tips and the ends and painting the undersides of the nail as well. And on this ring finger, we're going to work the mermaid tail using Cover Pink Jellish Poly Gel. Taking a dollop of this, we're going to use the backing from our nail form stickers and place it here. And applying each scale with the Poly Gel Slip Solution. We'll only need to take a little bit of it at a time for each scale. Place this on the nail and we're going to be creating a little ball. After forming this into the ball, we're going to take our brush and put a little line in the middle of it and drag it out. Then we'll be trying to form the scale. Then we will be doing this row by row up the nail and this will form the mermaid tail. To prevent from messing up the scale that we previously made, I'll be curing in between making the scales. You're going to want to stagger your next rows in order to create full coverage of your nail, making it look like real life scales.
Keep doing this until you reach the very top of the nail. Trying to make the top row as neat as possible to finish the design. Any gaps that the scales leave, we've already put a layer of that Mint of Spring gel nail polish. So that would be the color that would shine through if there are any gaps. Last cure. And this is what it looks like so far. Then we're going to be taking the same color gel polish and we'll be putting two coats of this onto the scales. At first you can just wipe on as much as you can to cover, but we will be taking off the excess using a detail brush. I'm going to try to get into the nooks and crannies. And then using the detail brush, we're just going to wipe off the excess so we don't lose the design that we just created. Here I'm just taking the brush and wiping off the excess and then wiping the excess off on the paper towel and repeating this step for each scale until I feel like I've covered the crevices but removed enough for the design to show through. And we're going to hit it with the second coat. And take off the excess with the detail brush. Then we're going to take a sharpie and another nail form backing, fold it in half, and draw on the non-slippery side. When we unfold it, the sharpie will show through. Next we're going to be taking the gelish hard gel to form the tail. I'm just taking a little pencil to roll out these sides. So if there's a natural curve for the fins, take a dollop of the hard gel and just start wiping it onto the nail form backing. We're going to apply a thin layer as we'll build the fins by layer and in between each layer we'll be sprinkling a little bit of loose glitter. I'm using three types, uh, three color types of this iridescent glitters. 
which I'll be leaving in the description below. It came in a set of 12. And here, I'm just grabbing some of the loose glitters and dusting it on the wet layer of hard gel. Curing this, and then we're going to apply another thin layer of the gelish hard gel. Again, taking another color of the iridescent glitter and dusting the glitters on the wet hard gel. Curing it, and we'll be doing this one more time with one last color before we seal it and cure it again. After we cured all this, we'll be peeling this off of the nail form backing. Next, we're going to take a Sharpie and we're going to line up or draw an outline of our ring fingernail. Then I'm going to be taking my e-file and I'm going to be filing down the sides, making them nice and smooth cleaning up the edges, and we're going to be drilling that divot that we drew with the Sharpie so that our nail can fit in that groove. Be sure when filing to make the edges not so sharp in case you accidentally stab yourself <laughs> or, um, you know, just to prevent from scratching anything. I mean, this is obviously not a practical nail design, but it is pretty cool to be replicating a mermaid tail on your nail.
if that's the type of thing you'd like to do. To get into the crevices, I switched to a cone shape carbide bit. And I have it up to 18,000 RPM. And applying a good amount of pressure. Using the Sharpie makes it easier to define the outline. All you have to do is file down till the outline is gone. Next, we're going to take the hard gel and apply it to the edges of my ring finger. This will be the glue that will stick the fin onto the nail. Line this up with your nail and stick it under the lamp and cure it. Next, we're just going to back it up with a seal using the hard gel and applying it to where the two pieces meet. This stuff is pretty strong, so um, it wouldn't just fall off. Again, depending on how rough you are with your hands, It could possibly come off if you're doing something crazy. Cure that and this is what it looks like. Your mermaid fin. Then again, I'm gonna be taking the hard gel and we're going to be drawing lines on our next design to form the clamshells. And these will be applied to every nail left. Using a detail brush, I'm taking a dollop of the builder or the hard gel and starting at the edge of my nails and just lightly dragging it down to the base near the cuticle. You might want to work a little faster with this because the hard gel will slowly start to move on you. In between each nail, I'm carrying this. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just replicating um, clamshells, which, you know, are not necessarily perfect.
After curing this, I'm going to be taking some nail cleanser and removing the sticky layer off of each nail. And then taking the Chic White Gelish Gel Nail Polish and applying two layers on each nail. You want to try to get coverage but also remove the excess between the little grooves you've made so that you don't lose the design. And we'll be capping the sides and the tip and again since my previous set was the French chips. I don't need to put any nail polish underneath the nail since it's already white. Applying the second coat. And this is a sheer white gel nail polish so as you can see it's not giving a nice full coverage of this color but that's okay because we're going to be applying some powders over it. Now I'm just taking a lavender gel polish again from Gelish and applying two layers on the pointer and middle finger. And I chose these colors because it just reminds me of The Little Mermaid. So the white looks nice, but the purple reminds me of the clamshells that Ariel had in the movie. <laughs> and uh, likewise, I'm giving this two coats and making sure that I remove the excess from the nail so that I don't lose the grooves that I've created and again I'm going to be capping the sides and the tip and I've decided to do like a mother of pearl look on the underside of the nails so I'm going to leave the undersides white again applying the second coat During this and then I'm going to be taking Born Pretty Iridescent Powders. I'll leave the description, the link in the description below and I'm applying little dabs of these powders and then just rubbing it in with my finger. Um, the applicators that they give you are great but I just think that using your finger um, does a better job and it gets into the crevices and everything. So we're just rubbing this on all four of the fingers and as you can see it looks so cute with these powders on there. And the application doesn't really need to be solid or perfect. Um, I could have applied more powder to get full coverage of this iridescent color, but um, a, light a light amount still looks great on there and gives it a more rustic look. And again, like I said, um, on this particular nail, the ridges were so pronounced that the white wasn't covering the tips of the 
grooves we created and um, you can't really tell that that was happening but with the iridescent powders it kind of gives that illusion that there is full coverage there that in I'm going to be applying these powders too on the scales and the iridescent color kind of accentuates the scales the edges of it so um, you can see the design come through there Then I'm going to be taking the Top It Off gel coat from Gelish and apply one layer to each nail. And we're going to be applying this to the sides, the tip, and the underside of the four nails. And we'll be applying a layer of it on the mermaid tail as well and putting a layer on the fins to seal everything all together and the undersides of it just to give it that extra translucent look through the nail cure this Then I'm going to be taking the same powders and rubbing it on the underside of the four nails and this is going to be acting like the mother of pearl side of the clamshell. I thought this look would be so much cooler as we're going to be um, sculpting little pearls on the underside of the nails. And then I'm going to put another layer of the top it off just to seal in that iridescent color. Then I'm going to take another nail form backing and using the bright white gelish poly gel, take a dollop of that, put it on the backing, and I'm going to scrape off these little pieces to form the little pearls underside the nails. I'm going to take a little bit of it and take our brush and just sculpt it into a little ball. Make sure we seal the edges with the detail brush. Cure it. And these will be our nails, our pearls on the underside of our nails. And we're going to do this for the rest of the nails.
guess you just have to eyeball how much of the poly gel you use, depending on the size of your fingernail. You don't want it too big or too small. You could also um, purchase pearls and just use nail glue to um, put on the undersides of your nails. I magically ran out of my pearls. <laughs> um, I had used a lot of them in my wedding that I had uh, just this past July. So I figured what else could I use to make one and it ended up just being poly gel. Which is good because, you know, I'm not set to a fixed size and I can size it perfectly to my underside of my nails. And you can already see, like, the reflection, the iridescent powders is making off of the pearl. And I'm going to be taking this pearl powder from Born Pretty. Again, I'll leave the link in the description below. And we're just going to try to rub uh, the powders all over the sphere of the pearls. It's okay if you get the powders on the inside of the underside of your nail because after we Put a layer of top it off on each pearl. You can then take the nail cleanser and wipe off the excess powders. Be very light with the top it off so that you don't flood the underside of your nails losing the definition of the pearl you've just made. Now we're gonna cleanse this off, remove the excess powders, remove the sticky layer, Then I'm taking these crystals and I'm going to apply them to the base of each of the four nails just to give it a little pop of accent. Taking the gummy jelly from E Nail Couture, I'm going to apply just a little bit just a little line at the base of each nail where we'll be applying the crystals. Then take our Shine E again by E Nail Couture and put a little layer over the gummy gel we applied. We don't need to put this all over the whole nail since we're just applying the crystals in one area. take my pencil to pick up the crystals and apply one larger crystal in the middle and flank it with two little ones.
stirring that. Then we're going to take our Nourish Cuticle Oil by Gelish and we're going to apply that around each nail. And rub that in. And there you have it, a mermaid tail design with clamshell nails. It looks so cute. The iridescent powders and the glitters just make the whole design. Simple accents. The ridges and the pearls underneath. Little hidden secrets in each clam. It's great, I love it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for future videos. And this is Isms by Josie. Thanks. Bye.